Here's a video talking about the Simpsons revealing the future of America. A lot of videos already on YouTube that show all kinds of predictions that have already happened, like Prince, uh, fake death. This was a Simpsons episode that ran back in the year 2000, believe it or not, predicting Trump because it was all planned out. This prediction could have just been staged, you know. <clears throat> These three individuals could have just staged this to make it look like this painting. That's not really significant. This is a showing Trump at his funeral or his death. There was an episode a few years ago showing depicting the next president a female, and it says, "As you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. How bad is it?" Well we're completely broke so I assume that the stock market will be next to nothing or America will be bankrupt what I do find interesting the next president should be the last president and it almost looks like I mean it really does look like Hillary Clinton will be the next or last president but you know it's depicting a female president and I happen to believe that Michelle Obama could be the next president which would explain Obama going back into office which would explain how all these hundreds and hundreds of people have had all these disturbing dreams and visions about Obama I saw Obama in the White House during the destruction of America you know this is a clip from Simpsons season 23 episode 9 or 923 very important a lot of futuristic revelation comes out of this one episode but it says Montgomery Burns Institute for Soul Extraction interesting huh because the Bible says one of the judgments against Babylon the great uh, merchants of gold silver brass iron let's see oil fine wine wheat sheep chariots and slaves and souls of men now I still don't understand this full revelation this understanding I do find it kind of disturbing the Bible talks about one of the judgments of Babylon the Great the souls of men and back here we can see soul extraction so I'm not really sure what all that details this is uh, Simpsons here's a 23 9 again it shows New York underwater very disturbing um, New York people believe that uh, tidal waves can be seen on these new uh, $100 bills. Others believe it's a nuclear explosion, you know. Here's more revelation from the 23.9. Shows the South Pole all dried up. Well, we know that the South Pole is actually... Uh, this big ice ring or ice wall so I assume that sometime in the future that this uh, ice wall some of it's going to melt which would explain how you see these futuristic maps of the United States where you know the west coast is all flooded the east coast is you know a lot of it's underwater Florida's underwater all these parts are underwater probably because the ice wall has gotten warmed up and melted and they're probably giving you revelation right you know in front of your face here let's go to google type in uh, captain hook sailed around antarctica antarctica is the ice ring uh, around this flat disk earth um, it's somewhere around 60,000 or 69,000 miles around um, captain hook sailed it back in 1776 and this is more revelation from the 23.9. The door just happens to have a 2 and 3, a 23. More revelation from the 23.9 episode where it, this guy's being robbed and he's questioning the robbers. He's like, you know, we're a cashless society. Why, you know, why are you trying to rob me? So they're giving more hints and clues about the future. Back in November 1st of 2012, there was this little skit, this little short skit. It wasn't a full episode where it shows Mr. Burns endorsing Romney. This is very important because this little skit reveals some very disturbing revelation. Basically, it shows actually apparently where America, the fault line that's going to split America, the big earthquake. 
this ran this short skit ran Thursday November 1st 2012 and what's amazing is you can pretty much line up where the split or fault line the rupture is going to happen at the way it's depicted it looks like the split or rupture is going to happen literally in the middle of Louisiana something else that's interesting just come over here find uh, Ken Peters I saw the tribulation and you can practically calculate when this destruction is going to happen if you listen to this guy's testimony it's like two to three years after this so-called rapture event happens is when he sees this worldwide earthquake and millions of people die and he says I've never heard of an earthquake where millions of people die well we know from other testimonies that people see this big what I call a fake asteroid and there and then they will detonate a bunch of bombs at the bottom of the ocean shake the entire earth cause a huge 200 foot tidal wave to literally devour lower half of the United States most of Florida will be wiped out America will be split in half in one day one hour America will be reduced to a third world nation you know no more grocery stores no more gas stations there's probably not going to be a lot of purified water you know if you listen to Ken Peters testimony over and over again you'll soon realize hey wait a minute he says that he was taken out and he saw the the globe shaking well you have to understand God can put a border around the flat disk earth and make it look like a globe why would God do that to deceive the power elite that monitor some of these visions and dreams you know what I'm saying in other words listen to his testimony you'll see where he talks about I saw these small white boxes in people's homes many homes and I know them now to be personal computers well this is obsolete technology for one but here's the catch in third world nations in poorer nations they run they still have these monitors they are using these monitors so he may have seen into homes in third world countries God may have put a border around the earth to make it look like a globe so that when the power elite or the FBI or CIA when they monitor these visions and dreams they laugh because <laughs> they think it's their God you know the all-seeing eye that gave this vision or dream to this person and they just ignore it and walk away but to the Christian we can read between the lines and get the message out of this vision or dream in other words God is very tricky and clever back to the Simpsons uh, season 23 episode 9 you're showing I guess biometrics or mark of the beast technology you know humans and electronics merging together you know very disturbing and it also shows what apparently is the new New York the old New York has probably been destroyed there wherever this is going to be at the new New York gate 23 mm, interesting it talks about how uh, Michigan is still under Sharia law which uh, if you go back and listen to Ken Peters testimony uh, he makes it sound as though the Bible has been banned okay before people are getting a chip in their hand people are hiding Bibles it's uh, it's almost like it has been outlawed in America yes most people they can't fathom the thought that you know gun confiscation could happen in America or Bibles banned in America well most people they're not going to fight to the death against this criminal government you know they're just not going to they'll just you know they can talk all big and bad now but if your kids are on the line you know in other words you're not going to fight to the death if you've got a couple kids that you've got to figure out how to feed so you know all these gun owners now that act all big and bad man yeah right when it comes down to it when their backs against the wall they'll give up their guns and just cowardly go along with the criminal new world order government so more on that episode uh, cannibalism the new gold 
there's been quite a few visions and dreams over the last few decades where they see where cannibalism is going to happen in America. You know, it's really going to happen. Basically, crops aren't going to grow right. Like one day it's cold, the next day it's hot. The next day it's cold, the next day it's hot, and crops are going to die. They can't grow them unless it's indoors, which probably explains why, you know, a one day's wage will buy a loaf of bread. Probably because that loaf of bread, the wheat that was grown to produce that bread was grown indoors, you know, so anyway, cannibalism is going to happen. I do encourage you, if you have a couple hundred thousand dollars in your 401k, go ahead and take some of that money out, buy two or three acres of land out in the middle of nowhere, go rent a backhoe, and start digging 12 foot deep pits, and start storing up thousands of cans of good down into your pit, cover it all up, put dirt over it, you know, figure out how to store up water, okay, you're going to be the wealthiest person in the entire world, okay, this person over here that has a bunch of gold and silver, he's going to commit suicide while he's starving to death, you have pits that you dug out with thousands of cans of food and water stored up, you're going to be the richest person in the entire world, so figure it out, figure out how to store up on you're going to need about 12 to 14 years worth of food stored up because, like again, you've been taught that the rapture happens and then seven years later it's the end of the tribulation and then Jesus comes back and then everything's going to be okay. Well, the only problem with that is it's nowhere in the Bible does it say that from the rapture to the end of the tribulation is seven years. But what I do know this, Jacob's trouble that parallels the end time nightmare just happens to be seven years, then a great deception, and then another seven years. So it looks to me like it's 14 years. So you might want to store up on 14 years worth of food and water for your family if you're going to try to survive. So I wish you the best of luck, and God bless.